So guys, for the first step, you want to get into this screen. Now to get here, you want to turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As soon as it turns on, you want to turn it off again and then turn it back on again. You want to repeat this three times. So, you want to turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As soon as it turns on, you want to turn it off again and then turn it back on again. Repeat this three times and then on the fourth time when you turn your computer on again, it will then take you into this screen. It's going to say that your PC did not start correctly, you want to click on advanced options. And then once you're on this, I'm going to be showing you three different ways on how you can fix this problem. So for the first method, you want to click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then start to prepare. If you do not see start to prepare, then you want to click on see more recovery options. Then it should appear right here. So you want to click on start to prepare. It's now going to start diagnosing your PC, wait for this to load. Now hopefully this would have fixed your problem. If not, that's fine, we're going to click on advanced options. And now for the second method, you want to click on Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, and then System Restore. If you have any restore points enabled on your computer, then you want to click on Next and then go back to your restore point. If you don't have any, that's fine, we're going to click on Cancel. For the next method, you want to click on Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, and then Command Prompt. And then once you're on this, you want to type in SFC space forward slash scan now and then click on Enter. Then you want to run this scan. Wait for this to load. I'm going to skip the video to when the scan will be fully completed. And now we're going to type in chkdsk space full slash f space full slash r space c colon. Click on enter. You now want to run this scan as well. Wait for this to load. In my case I've still got 14 minutes left on the scan, so I'm just going to get off this right now. But in your case you want to run this whole scan. Once you complete the scan, you want to close out of this. Now you just want to continue to Windows, and then the problem should be fixed.